Uh, in this video, we are going to talk about uh, one important concept in the power semiconductor uh, power electronics that is power semiconductor devices. This is very very important in the gate examination. Definitely, we can get one question based on this. So, when you come to the power semiconductor devices, generally devices act as a switch. We know what is a switch. Switch is on off state only. In this in power electronic converters device acts as a switch which operates in only two states on state and off state so when you come to the switch switch is normally we consider two cases one is ideal second one is practical but actually when you come to the real world there is no ideal switch or ideal system we know that but why we need to study ideal case we need to understand the switch in ideal domain to analyze in a simpler way so when you come to the ideal switch characteristics and ideal switch properties the on state resistance of ideal switch is zero and off state is infinite when it is on state the on state voltage drop is zero and when it is off the blocking current or a leakage current is zero so what is the voltage blocked by the switch when it is in off state it can block any voltage from minus infinite to plus infinite coming to the current during on state or conduction state it can carry any current from minus infinite to plus infinite so when you come to observe all these uh, the during off state current is zero voltage is infinite but power is zero because p is equal to v into i and similarly when you come to the on state or conduction state current is infinite but voltage is zero so that again power loss in the switch is zero and also when you come to the switching characteristics during switching the ideal switch can take instantaneous action during turn on as well as turn off process that is why the turn on time as well as turn off time of the ideal switch is zero that is why we can say energy lost in the switch during turn on as well as turn off transition again zero finally we can say the total power loss in the ideal switch the power loss means both conduction switching as well including off state losses also all are zero that is why ideal switch is thermally stable at all operating conditions fine but when you come to the practical it is very important in the examination in all competitive exams that is when you come to the practical on state resistance is finite off state resistance also finite on state voltage also finite on state or off state current finite and on state current and off state voltage are also finite these are all specified by the manufacturer the data sheet provides everything because of all these finite values the power loss in the switch is again finite which is not zero as luck ideal okay so when you come to the practical switch characteristics i am not showing the ideal switch characteristics because that is not important when you come to the practical it is very important to analyze the practical switch characteristics to determine power losses in the switch so coming to the switching characteristics of practical switch this is the off state initially the switch is in off state during off state the current is not zero that is called leakage current and the voltage blocked by the switch is vs is let it take it as v maximum specified by the manufacturer at t1 instant we are giving signal to the switch then it comes to on state but it does not take instantaneous as like ideal it takes gradual change so that is why current increases gradually there is a di by dt rate of change of current reaches to maximum at t2 instant and voltage falls from v maximum to on state voltage drop during the t1 to t2 period this period is called turn on time of the switch 
In ideal, turn on time is zero because it takes instantaneous action. The current suddenly rises to final value, voltage suddenly drops to zero. That is why power loss in the switch is zero during turn on process. But whereas here, some amount of time required to change the current to change the current from initial value that is a leakage current to final value, voltage falls from maximum value to minimum value. That is why there must be some energy lost. Right? So when you come to the turn off process, once switch is on state, T2 to T3 period, this is the on state, conduction state, 0 to T1 is the off state, T1 to T2 is the turn on process, turn on process. Now as long as switch is in on state, it carries the current IS voltage across the switch is the on state voltage drop, V on state which is minimum. And at T3 instant, the switch is, switch is going to be turned off by removing the signal. When switch is off, current again does not take instantaneous, it takes a gradual decrease. Similarly, voltage also takes a gradual increase, attains to maximum at T4 instant. So because of this gradual change of voltage and current, it takes some amount of time that is called turn off time of the switch. Right? This turn off time is again not zero as like ideal case which is finite. Because of this finite amount of time period, there must be some energy lost during turn off process. Right? So in case of ideal both energy lost during on as well as off zero but here energy lost during on turn on process as well as turn off process or finite. So how do we calculate energy lost during turn on as well as turn off process? Energy lost is, we know what is the, uh, according to circuit theory, how do we calculate the energy? Energy is integration 0 to t, power of p of t into dt, right? So E on, energy lost during turn on is equal to 0 integration 0 to t on v into i into dt. v into i is the power. Similarly, when you come to the energy of, during turn off process, energy lost is 0 to t of v into i into dt. This is energy lost. Then how do we calculate power loss, switching power loss during turn on, average power loss during turn on as well as turn off process. So power loss during turn on process, average switching power loss during turn on is equal to 1 by Ts integration 0 to T on V into I into dt. Right? Similarly, the power loss during off state, turn off process is P of switching is equal to 1 by Ts integration 0 to T of V into I into dt. So with this, we calculate power loss in the switch during turn on as well as turn off process. Right? Sometimes in the examination, they may ask only the average power loss during turn on or average power loss during turn off. So in such case, use these two formulas to find power losses. Fine. Suppose the question is sometimes find the average power loss of the switch during both turn on and turn off that is complete switching losses. So how do we calculate complete switching losses? Use this formula. P switching average switching power loss is equals to 1 by Ts 0 to Ts integration V into I into dt. So now this is as usual the formula to calculate the average value of any signal periodic signal. So in this period 0 to Ts. So what is the Ts? We know that Ts is the switching time period. Ts is switching time period of the device. So 0 to Ts period only T1 to T2 and T3 to T4 period this device goes in the switching action right T1 to T2 turn on T3 to T4 turn off you take only the two intervals T1 to T2 T3 to T4 that is 0 to T on and 0 to T off so 0 to T on V into I into DT is E on 0 to T off V into I into D2 is E off so now total switching power loss average power loss is equal to 1 by Ts E on plus E off so switching average power loss now from this we calculate 1 by Ts is a switching frequency into energy lost during turn on and turn off that is total energy lost E. So this in this way we calculate average switching power loss of the practical switch. With this we can say average switching power loss is always proportional to switching frequency very very important thing is if switching frequency is more average power loss in the switch 
also increased right that is why you should select optimum value of the switching frequency to maintain the switching power losses within the limits fine so this is the switching power loss calculation the one of important concept in the examination or competitive examinations now coming to the conduction state if switch is in conduction state so how do we calculate conduction losses of the switch as we know that this is a switch any switch a power electronic device represented by a switch configuration fine so now the switch can be represented any one of the models equivalent models if it can be represented with only the on state resistance that is let me this is the case one the switch can be represented with only the on state resistance the switch represented by this on state resistance then use this formula to calculate conduction loss of the switch sometimes switch can be represented with only the terminal voltage that is the drop across the switch vt drop okay right if switch can be represented with this model equivalent model use this formula vt into i average suppose in the third case switch can be represented the combination of two that is r on and vt in this case use both the formulas that is i rms square into r on plus vt into i average by using these three formulas based on the given equivalent model of the switch calculate conduction or on state average on state power loss of the switch so this is a very important concept in the uh, all competitive examinations in the switching prop, uh, switching case how to find the switching losses of the device average and conduction losses of the device during conduction state